We are in the midst of what many consider to be one of New York's most important weeks of the year, Fashion Week. But pushing aside the usual offerings of the over-the-top styles worn by impossibly rail-thin runway models, <laughs> there's a whole new kind of fabric that could revolutionize the way clothes are made. Here's ABC's Tina Trin. It's New York Fashion Week, and designers Flora Gill and Alexa Adams of Onatito are gearing up for their big show. Knitwear is their specialty, but this season, they're adding a different material to the mix, 3D printed plastic. We're basically starting with a string with knitting and then creating fabric out of it. Yeah. And this is a really similar process where you're working with kind of a line of plastic. But that plastic, it's typically rigid and hard. We had to think about ways to make something soft and flexible and malleable using hard units. The designers partnered with Microsoft and 3D printing company Shapeways. This is um, their frosted ultra detail uh, plastic. One of the things I love about it is that it's transparent and also has this sort of rubbery feel, which is really interesting. By interlocking smaller pieces together, the designers essentially created a new fabric to work with. I mean, the initial idea was to try to take ideas from traditional chain mail. The really cool thing here is that it actually has a little bit of give in it, right? Yeah, it Tons definitely has stretch in it and it can, it can be very malleable. It's going to kind of fit to each body of the model to fit her personally, which will be really nice. We're actually combining it with a more old world technology, uh, crochet around the edge. That old world meets tech world approach makes for unlimited possibilities. I think the next revolution in 3D printing is going to be more materials. Eventually they'll be able to use plastics and polymers that are completely soft. The only way that it will get better and like really progress is if people use it. It's fashion 2.0, and this season, it's ready to wear. Tina Trin, ABC News, New York. Very interesting, huh? Do you like it? I do, but I'm also wearing a spider web today, so it tells well, you my fashion. Yeah, is it made of plastic and polymers? It's not made of plastic and polymers, <laughs> but if you get too close, you might get stuck in it. That's true, in the web.